Okay, I'm just going to have an overview of the bench top machines that we uh, manufacture. Um, on show today in our demo room, we have three machines. The first machine on the left is the Technofill F1, which is our bench top liquid filling machine, which is ideal for small production facilities, anything from e liquids up to uh, shampoos, conditioners, that kind of uh, product, anything you see on the shelves in the supermarkets, what's best with a 10 litre pump which is fitted with, or this particular machine is fitted with, so products around 100 ml to 250 ml. We do four sizes of pumps so they can work all the way down to 5 ml and up to 5 litres. Uh, we also do a peristaltic version of the machine which uh, means we can go down to 0.1 ml. Um, but that's a slightly different technology from gear pump. The machine's uh, got a big touch screen, probably the biggest in its class, so a lot of the customers like that. Um, the software or the, the touch screen has been designed with customers in mind. We take a lot of feedback from customers because um, they've had machines where there's like a million different screens and they want to get one set in and they have to go through that. So we've made it very, very simple. So it's got one main screen and then uh, it has, uh, let's just put the sense of that into setting screen. So the setting screen basically allows you to control the product level and the profile of the fill. You also have a recipe system in there. So it's mainly two screens. The front screen is just an easier screen to operate. Um, the machine stainless steel. This particular one's got a pneumatic nozzle fitted but the standard machine comes with a plain nozzle so uh, yeah and the next two machines are we have a checker QC and dispenser RX so dispenser RX is our flagship um, tablet counting machine we sell a lot of these into uh, high-end pharma nutraceuticals customers that are doing vitamin tablets very big market during the COVID era uh, people want to keep uh, healthy, so people taking their vitamins or vitamins. Um, machines, quite a unique design. I don't think there's anything else in the market that looks like it. It's not just pretty, it's got a lot of features to it. Um, for example, the RX counts, it has a, uh, a, a flap which allows you to place two bottles on a platform. And when the operator uh, wants to operate it, just press that, it fills into one container, then when once one container is filled, the operator can transfer over to a new bottle while the other has been filled, and likewise, so they're constantly changing bottles, so it allows the, the feed and the, the process to happen. Whereas on this machine on the left, which is the Checker QC, this is just about um, checking the number of tablets in bottles. Um, it's used mainly on high-speed production lines where customers have got uh, big high speed 150 200 a minute packaging lines and they want to validate the uh, counts in the um, the pots so what they'll do is they'll have a small checker machine offline but they'll take some pots from online and just check what the bigger machines are doing just for validation etc so uh, i mean the good features with these machines are they're, they're so easy to operate and, and easy to clean down i mean it has a, a bowl on the top. This is similar to the RX. I mean, the top end is the same, but except there's a, a funnel or a hopper fitted. Um, whereas you're just pouring tablets in here and checking. But the strip down is real quick. So take the bowl, bowl feeder comes off, quick release, and then take off the tablet guide. And then we can do the same with funnel. window and housing and then we're stripped down so the strip down is very quick you don't have to have a million nuts and bolts bits and pieces that can go missing and it's all tool free so off for different funnel sizes that fit in funnels are held in by magnets and uh, also do different bowl designs we have one bowl design which covers many many tablets so you can run most tablets in this bowl. But we do bowls for very, very small tablets or sometimes some bigger, heavier capsules or very large tablets. 
need a different bowl so uh, we can provide those custom made bowls. They're, they're not injection molded, they're fully machined bowls so the uh, design is quite unique. Um, but as for the machine itself, I mean, for example this machine here, we, someone set up some uh, tablets, uh, just run a few tablets for example, we can set the count here, we've got a count of 30, very simple controls, just has some advanced settings to do with the sensor, you don't even need to touch this too much because uh, the sensor's got a lot of uh, uh, like a logic inside the sensor so it's doing a lot of things in there. Um, so we don't really need to mess with that because it, it looks at things. But sometimes you need to just alter a set if it's a very, very big product or there's something a little bit weird about it. So we're going to do a count of uh, 30 and we're going to do, for example, a batch of, yeah, we'll do a batch of maybe three. So we're going to count up. Some customers like to count down. So if we start with one, two, three, or we want 100 down 99 so they can tell exactly where they're at. Um, or we can turn it off completely and just do continuous, which would just mean the machine's not counting up or down. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll count 30 tablets, we'll do three bottles, we've got four bottles here. So just make sure there's no tablets in each bottle. Sometimes these have a habit of sticking. Uh, it's not, I haven't set it up myself, so it's going to run okay. Um, but obviously, uh, you know, doing it in production, someone would have set it up with a the bowl correct and, and maybe feeding properly and get into it and know how many tablets to put in etc so I'm just going to run it straight so let's start you can see it's so it's now fitting into the other funnel move that up a little bit and replace that on there. There we go. You see a small adjustment allows the machine to flood a little bit. And move the tablets around. And then we do a change over here. So that's it. It's done three sets. So we should have three bottles here. So we can check a bottle. So we'll pick a middle bottle and say okay. How many tablets in that bottle? So there should be 30. So, just make sure there's not one sitting in there. There's the tablets. And the machine will stop and reset. And then you can put them in again. Test it again. And then you can test it again. overview of the Dispenser RX, check the QC, check the count F1.